We invited Representative Pete Stark to come, and he is not able to because he'll be participating in votes tomorrow in Washington, D.C. However, he was gracious to provide us a statement, which we'll now read. Statement of Congressman Pete Stark. Dear friends, thank you for rallying to bring our troops home from Iraq. It is indeed fitting that you have chosen the day we celebrate the life of Dr. Martin Luther King to raise this important issue. The words Dr. King spoke on April 4th, 1967, beyond Vietnam, a time to break silence, is ringing loudly today as we respond to the abysmal failure in Iraq. I wish I could be with you today to personally add my voice to yours in opposition to the war in Iraq. In October 2002, I voted against the original congressional resolution authorizing the president to take military action against Iraq. And as a member of the Out of Iraq and Progressive Caucuses, I regularly call for the immediate withdrawal of American troops and an end to the Iraq war. On Wednesday night, immediately after the President Bush's speech, I pledged that if given the opportunity, I will vote against providing billions in funding to deploy thousands of additional troops. And finally, I want to share with you the comments I submitted yesterday to the Congressional Record. This week, President Bush has confirmed what I have known for some time. He is delusional. <laughs> 20,000 more troops in Iraq? No one supports this ex escalation. Not the Joint Chiefs of Staff, not the Iraq study groups, and certainly not the American people. This administration has made mistake after mistake in an unnecessary war of its choosing. Now the president insists on sacrificing more lives, more money, and more goodwill on an increasingly lost cause. If God really does talk to this president, I wish God would tell the president to bring the troops home now. <laughs> This is what the Iraqis need, and it is what the American people overwhelmingly declared they wanted in November. President Bush is incapable of managing the debacle in Iraq. Congress must therefore take matters into its own hands, blocking funding for the surge in particular, and stopping all funding of the war in Iraq in general. Let's bring our troops home.